Alright, so to begin this transformation, what I'm going to do is just basically outline um, where I want my teeth to be exposed. And I'm just taking a red from the Makeup Forever Flash color case and an angled brush to do so. So next I'm going to apply my silicone prosthetic and this is third degree and I'm going to fill in the outline from what I did previously and then you want to let it sit for maybe, I don't know, like a minute before you start messing with it so you can get nice and tacky, you can get that nice um, open wound effect. So next, the little girl also had a gash on her forehead, like a small little cut. And that's what I'm doing here on my forehead. The cuts and the open wounds don't necessarily look exactly, but it's nice to feel inspired. Alright, so since I have a lot of color in my face, what I'm going to do for this is just take my Death Wheel from Ben Nye and I'm taking the center color which is a skin tone, taking the yellow and the green one as well and I'm just going to apply this all over my face with a beauty blender. I'm also going to go back with the yellow and stipple it onto the prosthetic. So next I'm taking a matte red from ABH Cosmetics palette with an angled brush and I'm going to start by outlining the teeth. So next I'm going to take the deepest red from the zombie wheel and this one is also from Ben Nye and with the same angled brush I'm just going to trace my teeth one more time. So now back to the Makeup Forever Flash Color Case. I'm taking the black one or you can use a cream liner and I'm just going to fill in everything else except the teeth and I'm going to outline where the teeth meet and around. So now what I'm also doing is just filling in where the skin is showing just right underneath and this is going to be the base for the dark red that we're going to apply next. And now we're going to take the deep red and I'm going to go over it and again this deep red is from the Makeup Forever Flash Color Case. So next I'm carefully filling in my teeth with a white and this is again from the same case and um, I'm just really carefully going to make sure not to go over the black but if you do you can always take the black and go over wherever you went over with the white. So it's, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect but just try to make it look as real as possible. So 
So next to simulate the bruising, um, you want to take a matte brown and a red. And this red is actually from the death wheel. And I'm just going to apply this to my lips and all over the wound. So now back to the red from the death wheel. This is going to simulate um, just tired, sick eyes. And I'm just going to take this on the bottom of my eyes and all over my eyelid on both eyes. And then here I'm just going to soften it out with a blush brush. Now the little girl didn't have black on her eyelids, but I felt like for me that would look a lot better. So I'm just taking a matte black and I'm going to apply that to just the top of my eyelids. And of course I'm going to contour on my cheekbones just so I can look like I really need to eat and I'm just really malnourished. Alright, so now to make this even more realistic, I'm just taking Craylon's uh, Fresh Scratch and I'm just going to take a spatula and fill in the wound. And then with dark blood, and this is more of a liquidy um, blood, I'm just going to take it onto a spatula and then with a really scratchy um, sponge, I'm just going to simulate scratches all over my chest and some parts of my face. Alright, so I'm just going to take this soft bluish gray and just contour it lightly around my nose. And that's basically the last step for my hair. I just used tons of baby oil to make it look really dirty and just plain out disgusting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.